Hello traders, this is Juan Maldonado from the Yellow Wave desk. We are going to cover the euro. The euro on the weekly chart is showing that we are almost at the end of the move. Uh, we are looking for a lower low below the 111.15 area. And once we have the completion of wave one, let's get ready for a buy trade back to the 121 area. Before that, this is a weekly chart, we can trade the internal cycles because markets are fractal. This is the four hour chart. On the four hour chart, we're looking for the end of the wave two. Notice that there is an ABC for the wave one because we are forecasting an ending diagonal wave for the last leg. So we're going to have at the end ABC for each of the legs and that's something that we can use when we are on the diagonal wave. So here we have uh, the price building wave two. It's pending another leg up. Once the price does the, the move up for two, let's get ready to find a short trade and follow the leg down. There is a trade that we believe is ready is one of the favorites for the week and is the, the Aussie a long trade. We want to buy the Aussie at the 70.05, 7005, just here. And the target is going to be the 72. Before, we were looking for a short trade. As you already know, if you have been following the videos, we were looking for a short trade. We already captured this leg. And now it's time to find the end of the trend and get into the buy trade on the Aussie. 70.05, uh, and the target will be the previous high. To find out the stop loss, the specific entry order, you should take our service. I will tell you more at the end of the video. And what about the S&P? The S&P, this is the daily chart. And we are in a big flat formation for the wave 4. It seems that the B wave of the flat ended by failing to cross the resistance um, of the end of the previous wave three. So here is the big flat formation. So it seems that that's it. The S&P is starting a bearish cycle finally after a complex corrective wave. On lower time frames, we can see how the price is doing the one to three reversal pattern where the price did the leg down. Then it tried to recover after the excellent data last Friday uh, with that we have with the non-farm employment data higher than expected was pretty impressive and now the price opens this week with a powerful red candle so this could be another one two one two and then the wave three the powerful wave three let's see if it's going to be able to recover the s p or if not if it fails to recover and move higher we will have the wave three that is our main wave count so that will be the plan don't forget to take our service. Visit the EliotWaveDesk.com right now. Then click on pricing and you will find all the details about the service. We provide daily videos, charts, trade ideas and more. So sign up right now for just $75 per month. You're going to receive a lot of information every week. Everything based on Elliot Wave with the highest probability trades. So visit EliotWaveDesk.com dot com right now and sign up i'll see you in the service please have a great week take care bye bye